this is Kevin Mayo, and today we're going to drink some Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. This is out of Alltech Brewing in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, it's, you know, everybody kind of knows it. It's a well-known style, and it's just exactly what it says. It's stout aged in bourbon barrels. This is a double. It's 8% alcohol, and it's brewed with Haitian coffee and then aged in bourbon oak barrels. Lexington, Kentucky is right in the center of the uh, bourbon brewing industry in the United States, so why not? Let's go ahead and give it a pour. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments because I love talking about beer. Okay, a fairly aggressive pour. And actually, if you hold it right to the light, you can see through it just a little bit. Some stouts you can't see a thing through, but you can see through it just a little bit. But other than that, it's your pick, typical, if you don't hold it directly to like pitch black stout and a typical dark brown head on it, about a finger, it's dissipating fairly rapidly. Uh, I'm not seeing really much in the way of alcohol lacing on the glass. Let's do aroma. And you smell the coffee. You do. You definitely pick the coffee right up. And you smell the bourbon. A little bit of oak. So all in all, what you'd expect to be there is in the aroma. The oak the bourbon, the coffee, and when I really dig at it, I can get a little bit of like the uh, roasted malt. And you know what, a little bit of that creamy milk chocolate that you get on a lot of stouts too. Let's do the taste. Oh wow, that is really, really good really really good obviously you get that black coffee you're getting a really nice mouth feel real creamy I um, mean almost like a nitro and it's not a nitro and you get the dark chocolate I shouldn't say dark chocolate the milk chocolate then you get the black coffee you get the hint of the bourbon which is kind of underneath it all You get a little bit of oaky. Is that a word? Oaky? You get a little bit of oak. But again, that really nice creamy mouthfeel. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, so, black coffee, bourbon underneath, dark chocolate's the first thing you taste. Again, I keep saying dark chocolate. I'm really trying to say rich, creamy milk chocolate. Little bit of hint of the dark chocolate, and really more, uh, it's really more of the malt bitterness, the roasted malt. Really, really, really well made stout. The bourbon barrel definitely adds to it, doesn't t take away from it. I know people go crazy for it, like this beer a lot. Not sure if it's right there with the very, very best Imperials or Russians that I've had or double stouts. Um, you know, I'm just thinking sometimes you get some of that nice dark fruit flavors. I'm not picking that up in this at all. But really well made. Bourbon adds to it. We're going to give it a solid, we're going to give it a solid 90 out of 100. So it tips over into the A range. Till next time, keep drinking.